Hello everybody and welcome to the show. Today we will be reflecting on the new movie figure Black Adam from DC Spin Master. Unfortunately, I have had this action figure for a couple of weeks now, so I do not own the packaging anymore. But it is very similar to the other DC Spin Master movie figure packaging. I have not yet seen this movie, but I have very high hopes for it. When I heard that they were making a movie for Black Adam, I was so excited. And then whenever I heard The Rock was going to play him, I thought, well, that's just fantastic. Black Adam has always been one of my favorite comic book characters. I really like his power set. I like his demeanor. I like his costume. Everything looks great. And this figure actually pulls that off pretty well. The costume itself, I'm enjoying. Even the type of gold paint that they used doesn't look too bad. And there you can see the Dwayne The Rock Johnson head sculpt. That's not too bad, it really isn't. I really like this cape that they've included with Black Adam. It's different than the other DC Spin Master capes. Like if we look at Shazam here, this is more of a, I don't know, plasticky feeling. This is more fabric. One of my favorite things about Black Adam is his backstory and his power set. I'm a big fan of mythology, so since he derives all of his powers from Egyptian gods, I always found it very interesting. In order to activate Black Adam's powers, he has to shout, SHAZAM! He's then hit with a bolt of lightning, and then he's given the powers of six Egyptian gods. Shu gives him the power of stamina, which allows him to survive without food, air, water, anything. He just sustains himself. He's also able to fight for incredibly long periods of time without getting tired. Next up is Heru. Speed, Flight, Amon is responsible for his massive strength. Zehuti gives him information that can help him defeat any of his adversaries or help him escape out of certain situations. Aton gives him his magic powers and his control and manipulation of lightning. And finally, Mehen is responsible for his courage and his regeneration. Black Adam will never back down from a fight, no matter how powerful his opponent may be. Now that we spoke a little bit about Black Adam and his backstory, let's look closer at the figure itself and its articulation. If you own any other DC 4-inch Spin Master figures, then you kind of know what you're expecting as far as articulation. But there's one huge difference, and it has to do with the legs and it's absolutely disappointing. But we'll get to that in a second. The head can spin 360. Shoulders can go out about that far. Single jointed elbow rotates 360. No wrist, no waist, no thigh swivel like we're used to. Single jointed knee that goes back that far. Not a big fan of how those stick out either. And it rotates 360. Nothing in the ankles. I saved the hips for last because they are just so terrible. They're absolutely one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life and it makes me question, why do I wake up in the morning? So maybe you can tell more easily what I'm talking about. This is the penguin four inch figure from the Batman movie. He's also made by Spin Master just like him, and he's also from a movie just like him. Except, his articulation is correct, and it's what it's supposed to be. And his is just awful. It's just a bad idea. So I'm not really sure why they chose to replace the ball joint that would give you all the hip movement you would need, and they replaced it with this. So if you want him to kick forward, he won't, unless you first rotate the thigh to expose the, the joint, and then move the joint 
and then turn his foot. And that's how high he can kick up. Which is less than 90, for sure. If you want him to kick out, you gotta put it back and then rotate it. And he kicks out pretty well to 90. I'll give him that. But I'm just very confused as to why they would do that. I don't know if it helps them save money. I don't know if this cloth cape was so expensive that they had to give him terrible hips. They could easily just reuse the Shazam mold that they already have and just cast it out of black plastic rather than red. And I would have been completely happy. Here are the only two accessories that he came with. Spin Master usually gives three accessories with each, with each figure. Uh, Black Adam only came with two. I'm not sure why. But I do like the lightning effect. It does look pretty cool actually. He holds it like the other Spin Master effects. You just put that post in his hand. They kind of remind me of like lightning Wolverine claws or something. You could also spin the lightning accessory around and it almost looks like a uh, lightning punch. And here's the lightning effect in the hands of other DC Spin Master figures. Now let's go ahead and move on to the comparisons. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Thor, Herald of Galactus, and Power Rangers Lightning Collection Monster King Sphinx. I brought him because of the Egyptian aspect and him because of the Lightning God aspect. We have Penguin from the new Batman movie and Darius from League of Legends. They're both made by Spin Master and they're both taller than Black Adam. Here he is with DC Spin Master's Green Lantern and the vintage collection Boba Fett. I wonder what it would be like if The Rock played Boba Fett in the movie. Can you smell what the Fett is cooking? And now here are two figures from the Final Faction toy line which can be found at Dollar Tree for only $1.25. I went ahead and customized them a little bit but they're great figures. If you don't own any, go check them out. You got nothing to lose. And they both seem to be bigger than Black Adam. Here he is next to DC Spin Master Reverse Flash and Superman. And again, Black Adam seems to be shorter than both of them. He's almost the same height as Reverse Flash, but still just a little bit smaller. And there we have one of the most important comparisons, Black Adam next to Shazam. They seem like they fit decently well together. If you had them next to each other on the shelf, it wouldn't look crazy. We have to compare him to Pumpkin Wrapper's massive pumpkin head. It's past his elbows. Let's go ahead and start talking about my final thoughts and any possible adjustments or improvements that we could make. I'm pretty sure this was the same price as the other DC Spin Master figures, except we get two accessories rather than three. We get a shorter action figure than we're used to, and we have terrible hips because of it. I'm not sure why they chose this movie to start making their figures not as great, but I cannot in good faith recommend this figure unless you just love Dwayne Johnson or Black Adam and you don't care about posing him or moving him that much if he's just going to stand on your shelf or sit in his packaging, then definitely pick him up. But if you're looking for something to fit into your DC Spin Master line, I don't know if this is the right figure for you. I don't think it's any secret that I'm pretty disappointed in this figure. I had very high hopes for it. I've been waiting for a Black Adam figure from DC for a very long time, ever since they announced Shazam. So when I first saw him in the store, I got super excited, got him out of the package, got miserable. Since it seems like the peg is going up inwards towards his chest, I want to go in and cut it and then somehow maybe point it towards the other leg. That way his hip, instead of turning like this, it would turn more traditionally. 
If you or anybody you know has a way to fix or improve or adjust this Black Adam figure and make it more enjoyable for others, please let me know in the comments down below or follow me on these social media platforms. Even though I'm not a big fan of social media, this is something that I've got to do to make sure that this channel grows. So I would really honestly appreciate if you would share my content or subscribe to my channel so that I know that you actually want to see more of my reviews. And if you don't, let me know why. I'm always looking for a chance to improve and get better at the things that I enjoy doing. I can't thank you enough for making it to this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you find some time in your day to go have a nice chuckle. And please, be kind to somebody. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Can you smell what the fat is cooking?